Now, what are you trying to do? Woman, what is this you are trying to do? Give me the key to the gate. You are not going anywhere to Give me the key before I break your head. Today is Sunday. Eh? Today is Sunday, brother Martin C. A gentle and godly brother has suddenly become a careless, prayerless and an indulgent unbeliever. Eh? Just a little money has turned your life upside down. Don't you see that many godly virtues has held out of your life ever since Mr. Market introduced you to that useless business? And you start following him everywhere. What? What did I just hear you say? Did you just say useless business? No, no, I want to get you clearly. Did you say useless? You got that godly vision that has brought millions onto the table of our home useless? Ah, now tell me. If actually you knew it was useless, why have you been spending out of it? Why have you been spending out of it? It, it proceeds. Tell me! Esther, we can't fight this battle to the end of the flesh. Queen of Oe, he will change. If you have been talking sense into his head all this while, he wouldn't have degenerated to this. Give me the key! It is because I have not talked sense into your head of this one that has made you grow worse. Don't be a weakling. I mean, you can't afford to indulge that woman. <coughs> you see, no woman can try that with me. Never. The very first and the last time my wife tried that with me, I beat sense into a small brain. And having done that, I took her to the hospital. She spent three weeks. You don't mean. I'm telling you the truth. Women are not to be indulged. Hey. Now, Esther, give me the key. I said, give me the key. You are not going Come anywhere. On, give me, give me. <laughs> so much to introduce him to a business that 
have made him so busy that he didn't have enough time again for himself not to talk of respecting their couples hotter. <laughs> My lord, before long, the wife started getting embittered. And now, this has made the mission to be accomplished. Failed couples hotter has worked. Fair Corpus Father has accomplished the mission, my lord. <laughs> mission accomplished. Yes. Is this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hi. Hi. After all has been done, after the days have been spent, the grave is waiting for you. The grave is waiting for you. The Bible made us to know in Job 17 verse 1 that my spirit is broken, my days are spent. Now the grave is waiting for me. Which means whatever we do on earth, everything we do, everyone, we end up in the grave. In the grave you have a total darkness. Not only that, we know that as many who do not allow God to rule in their life, to rule in their home, to rule in their marriages, or in their businesses, or in their ministries. I tell you this morning, because the Bible says in Psalm 73 verse 19, that the Lord God of heaven will be the one to place on their path a slippery path. A slippery path the Lord is going to put on upon their path and when they walk on it they sleep and die I tell you if you follow them just like they will be the grave is waiting for you the only set of people that God protects the only set of people that God preserves is those who walk in his truth otherwise the grave is waiting for you will you bow down your heart I want everyone to bow down their heart and begin to pray now. Will you pray to God? Lord, I don't want to miss your essence. Lord, save me today. By adventure, you have not been saved. By adventure, you have not given your life to Christ. Will you cry to God? I want to be saved this morning. Are you there? You want to give your life to Jesus? Please come out now. Quickly, quickly, quickly. You are saying yes. I want to make a decision for God. I want to make a decision for God. I know the grave is waiting for me. I, and I don't want to miss it. I don't want to miss the purpose for which I was born. There is a purpose. Thank you, brother. Thank you for coming out. Thank you. Thank you. You want to join him? You want to join him in the front? The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. You can kneel down. You can kneel down before the Lord. You can kneel down before the Lord. You want, to, you want to join this, our brother? Oh, thank you, sisters. Thank you, thank you for this. The Lord God of heavens, he's going to do something great in your lives. Thank you, brothers. Thank you, sisters. The Lord bless you. Oh, who am I saying? Who am I saying? Oh, my God. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. You know, I was shocked beyond expectation. Thank you, sir. You know, I was really shocked at the open confession that you made about the illegal profit that you made at the detriment of the company. Do you know the enemy was happy with it? Yeah, I saw that on him. <laughs> he was really, really excited. Yes, he was really excited. And, and you know, that, that 
that is not the only thing. Several people gave their lives to Christ at that confession. You know? Oh, no, 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 no. The most surprising thing was the restitution of 42.3 million naira that you made. It was really shocking. It's still a great amazement up till today. <laughs> sir, uh, well, thank you so much, sir. Well, we, we thank God for all that. As a matter of fact, sir, I am willing to do much more. I, I just want to please the Lord. Yes, I want to do whatever it will cost yes, me God. to become His beloved. That's my passion now, sir. Ah, that's fine. And you know you have already laid a good foundation yes, for that. Thank you, you have laid a very good foundation for that. And, oh, Sister Marka. I want to really thank you. I want to thank you for your passion to see your husband converted. Oh my God. God. God will bless you. And you know, thank God for the speed with which the Lord started with you. This good work will continue in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's enter. <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.
is in the ward, ma. They are taking care of him already. What happened in school? Yes, ma. He fell down from the first floor. He fell or he was pushed? No, ma. He was not he pushed. He fell or he was pushed? He was not pushed, ma. He missed his steps and Why rolled from the steps. steps. Eh? Why will he not miss his steps? Eh? Why will he not miss his steps? When your school structures are too bad. Ah. Too bad! I don't I don't know why 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 I don't
say they don't go out at night. This is 8 47 pm and they're not yet at home. But but that's strange. They don't go out at night. Check the gates. Check the gates. The gate is locked. Huh? See, bro, if this assignment fails tonight, you will need to contract it to someone else. As I told you earlier, I'll be traveling first day tomorrow morning for the business deal I told you about. But anyhow, I'm willing to stay here to keep VG tonight. It's okay. Yeah, it's alright, bro. Yeah, safe. Larry. They say Yoruba day that says if you sell your wife Chiki, you can never redeem her again with the best of good. You, you ignored all my comments in the afternoon before that teacher, as if I was an ordinary dog that was just barking. Eh? Hey, when in the real sense you were just for me, you were pretending. You are the cause of all these problems. Since I have known you, since in fact in in, in this in this marriage, all the decisions you have ever made, they have always been bringing trouble upon us. Trouble! I, I, I said I'm sorry. Hmm. Eh? I, I said I'm sorry. I, 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 I did ignore you. I, I saw you were hurt. You eh? see, I, I, I'm sorry for my decisions. Okay? Eh, I was only asking the lady eh, if the proprietress is aware about Marcus's case. All I shall know that when somebody does not have the facts and figures of a thing, he should not be the one making decisions. All the decisions you have ever made, they have always brought calamity upon us. Calamity! And the proprietress, or what do you call her? All the, since afternoon that this thing has happened, she has refused to show up. And I'm so sure if it were to be a child, she would have run to this place. Mr. Delson, what are you doing? Please, please, please. 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 And they are not yet back. I just hope something has not happened to them. Anyways, if this is the way we are able to see, we will find a kidnap in order to get the husband. And I think that will be fine. All right, all right. Lord, I'm stressed. I'm hungry. When are we going to leave this place? It's already 10 o'clock. You know, I told you I've been fasting all day. And I need to change. I need to freshen up. Uh, um, SL, I just don't think it is right for us to leave them here. I mean, it's very obvious that this woman has not forgiven us yet. And I don't want us to forget the scriptures, you know. The Bible says that when you want to give an offering unto the Lord, and you suddenly realize that um, you have offended your brother, you know. The Bible says we should first drop the offering, then go seek peace with that fellow. Uh, however, I think I should just step out and get you some food. No, 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 sweet love. I have been fasting already. I need to break with fruits and uh, a decent meal. Please, don't forget our health tips. Um, SL, you're worn out already. I know you. I'm sure by the time you're done eating, you will sleep off. 
Why would I do that? When you are still here and you have not eaten, let me go home. Immediately I get home. I'll eat, pack your food, and bring it down here. Okay, okay. Now, let me do it this way. Let me go home, pack the food while you wait for me. No, let me... don't worry. I'll be safe. Uh, this is the best man in the world. What the hell would I have done without you? Don't worry, I'll be off, I'll be back soon. Alright, just the same, alright? Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up! See! See! from the car and I saw what they were selling. Here yeah, it is. Wow. Fried rice, vegetable salad, fruit salad. I, I'm just happy you're saying. Alright. Thank you. Let's go and eat in the car. Oh, you're just the best. That's my baby. <laughs> My son. The doctor will need to come and check his leg. Hey. Hmm. They said the doctor will see it for my exam his leg. Hey. Huh? Can you see what you have caused us? It's, ah. it's, 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 it's all right. God. What kind of? Will you take your hands off me? Hey. What kind of thing is this? Let me. You can't see what you have brought us. All the decisions you have ever made in this family has brought one kind of calamity or the other. <laughs> Leave us alone! Ah. See, see, see. I am tired of this, of this enormous attitude. Go to hell! Go! I'm gone. I'm go! Out. Just go! Miss oh, Nelson! Oh. oh god, I'm tired of this! I'm tired of this! Ah! It is well, madam. Yeah, I'm very oh. sorry. Oh. Oh. Yes. You didn't cause it. You did not cause it indeed. All the decisions he has ever made has been one trouble and another. If you had listened to my cousin, we wouldn't have been in this mess. Oh God, what will I do? We are very sorry. 
All right. I'm tired. I'm tired. Ah. I'm tired. What will I do? From one six to pass one seven. A Toyota RAV4, grey color, old Terry model, is approaching your checking point. Stop him! He ran at the side of the police. Over. It's not supposed to be that of violence. God expects all wives to be submissive and adapt themselves to their own husbands. Such submission is a service unto the Lord. I used to be a very wicked person. Several times I up Get her wounded. They said that she will spend several weeks at the hospital. You know, those days, I used to think I was showing strength. But I never knew I was foolish. It was until the Lord encountered me that I realized that I have only been delayed my divine fulfillment. Listen, listen. The last five years has been the best spent part of my years ever. And this is because my personal relationship with God has been facilitating my interactions with my wife. And this has created several open doors for us. Can you imagine agreeing on the matter with your wife in prayers and you are getting a quick and immediate response from God? This is the kind of friendship that God expects us to create with our wives. It is called deep-spirited friendship. Mr. Benson. This is beyond our beauty, our status, or intelligence, or even any material thing. But the kind that stems 
focus on your personal relationship with God. Mr. Delson, it takes a man who is in a dispirited friendship with Christ as his head to cultivate a deep spirited friendship with his wife. When a friendship is deep, it means it extends far down below the surface. And that is why it's always very difficult to approach such a relationship. How do you mean? It is very easy to approach plants like tomatoes, maize, and all sorts because their roots are on the surface. But it's a different ball game entirely for plants like mangoes, cherry trees, coconut tree, which often take much time to get adequate nutrient from the soil with little exposure to the sun. This makes such plants to be firmly rooted. So, when a woman spends adequate time meditating, studying the word of God, and obeying every principles of God's word, she becomes more consecrated and devoted to the principles of God. So it becomes very difficult for such a woman to disobey any of God's instructions, no matter the level of provocation from her husband. I know what you are saying, Mrs. Makat, but how practicable is it in this our world? How practicable? When men are a, a, full of ego, very wicked and unloving, uncaring, not, in, in fact, the only thing they bring to their wives at home and children is problem. Problem! Ah. Thank God you said many men. That means it is not all men. By implication, it means there are still one or two men that are obeying God's principles. Why can't your husband be among such few men? Hey, that one, who, that one, that 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 that, 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 that adulterous and wicked one that is uncaring, not even minding anything he brings to the home, always looking for trouble. Not making any good decision. All the decisions he has ever made in his life, they always bring you through up a calamity. Like this one. And you are saying that one. That one. It can never change. Stop mentioning that one. My husband used to be worse than that five years ago. But as I kept growing in deep friendship with God, and I continued praying for him, the Lord answered my prayers and encountered him. My dear sister, this deep, spirited relationship with God is what links the spirit of the couple with the spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, who knows the mind of God, impacts on the human spirit and makes us to do what is approved by God to each other. This is what the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 17. But when our minds are not controlled by the Holy Spirit, it often takes instruction from the flesh. Words and actions are the substance of interaction and relationship. However, the source of every word and action determines their qualities. Oftentimes, the foundation of what people say or do is a function of the human mind because it is the site of thoughts and all actions emanates from there. How glorious it is when the spirit of man is controlled by the spirit of God. Such spirit has the capacity to dominate man's spirit. Because such information is being censored by the spirit before it is released from the person's mind. My dear sister, our spirit controlled mind directs our mouths when the flesh has lost total control. 
she will just notice that you will be quiet when the Holy Spirit wants you to be quiet. And you will speak when you ought to speak. And your words will be seasoned with grace. Couples will be able to release gracious words to each other. Because the same Holy Spirit who is inside the husband is the Holy Spirit inside the wife. Mrs. Dell said, it is the Holy Spirit that reveals couples' minds to each other. And this is what makes their hearts, their minds to beat as one. When a man's spirit is joined by the Holy Spirit, his or her tongue will be controlled by the Holy Spirit. When God's Spirit controls your mind, it is that spirit that interprets every situation that you will be going through. And this will detect your action and behavior. Do you want a spirit to spirit join that will bring deep spirited relationship into your marriage? Do you want this? spirit to spirit joining that will bring deep spirited friendship into your marriage i think i want it i want it i want it assignment of Mr. and Mrs. Matthews five years ago. No, 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 no. That is not true. That is not true, you know. I was the one. I was the one. I was the one that made him to hit his leg on a stone and he enjoyed his brain. And he tried his that thing. I, I think I should be the one to take the glory, not you. That must be a foolish talk from you. Yes, a foolish talk indeed. Because after making Mr. Martin busy, I was the one that made him to make his profits from the business he did with Mr. Martin. Hmm? Hi, hi, Mr. Flesh. Introduce more comfort, his love of pleasure, carelessness. Your chance into his wife, and that was what permanently ended his spiritual flame. You had the opportunity to get close to him when his fire was going down. You are now saying rubbish. Now tell me, who now eventually finished him, if not I? I will look for keep quiet, quiet and say. Is it not the same Mr. Market that you used to get Matthew out of God's will that became born again at Mr. Matthew's barrier? Huh? This same Mr. Market is building many homes now. This same Mr. Market is weakening and destroying my kingdom. And you are here ranting. We need. To re-strategize. Why are you still waiting? Come here now! Sir, do you know this man? He's taking me. Thank 
this. I've, I don't think I have seen him before. Take him away! Think the other man. Fire diminishes. We will strike immediately. We observed that you have entered. Yes. And we will create a conducive environment for you. Yes. Yes. Sir. Sir. This is what I call, sir. You're really shocked. Anyway, the end was shocked with the restitution you made that resulted in the promotion letter in your hand oh, sir promotion to the position of the manager uk branch yes yes actually um, the company has been having issues since um uh, mrs ruby juice the uk branch manager uh decided to go into politics but, you know, we couldn't do anything about it until recently because the UK branch is so critical for the company. And I know uh, you, you, you're good, you're just good for the position because we've been looking for someone with integrity to take over that place. And I'm sure you're not going to have a problem because... Already, all your children are grown up, and uh, uh, the last one is already out of the university. And I also know that your wife wouldn't have a problem at all <laughs> because she could just hand over her school for someone to manage for her. Okay, congratulations, my brother. Thank you, sir. 
<laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes! <laughs> Good! 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 They didn't bother to pray whether the promotion is from God or not. This is good! <laughs> Flesh! We're done! We're done! We're done!
discussion and sharing of experiences with each other. Just fear. Mm. <laughs> Fire within and without. I list of magic. <laughs> Chances for the flesh. Zero. Did you just say prompt discussion and sharing of experiences with each other is just fear? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Makat always forgets to share everything that happens to him on a daily basis. But his wife, his wife does that perfectly. <laughs> Good. Good. You. Yes, sir. Go and do that for me now. Yes, sir. Now! You think you're smart, huh? You think you're smart? <laughs> Look, I mean every word that I said to you when I came to your office two days ago. I told you they said I can't make it in life. If I don't have a child for the one who defrauded me, you call the security on me to bother me out of your office as if I am a goat. What do you take me for? <laughs> I'm ready to go to any length to get what I want from you. Huh? The truth of the matter is that I am not the only one in this battle. My mother and her elder brother, who is the best abanist in, in, in our village and its environment, they are in this battle with me. And our uncle, who is the creator of your so-called abanist, is the mighty man in battle. Our defender, our shield, our rock, the one who has power every situation. He is a consuming fire that can consume your abalis within seconds. If God be for us, who can be against us? No one. Look, Miss Pat, my own husband is now a child of the kingdom. He is part of me. And since the Bible says, whatever God has joined together, let no man put asunder. You will be endangering your life if you take any step that is contrary to this marriage. But if God be for us, who can be against us? No one. What do you think you are, man? <laughs> Where were you 10 years ago when your husband was chasing me up and down until he deflowered me? Oh. Do you care to know all the nasty things he said about you? He said you were so local and unsocial to be taken everywhere. He said you were not meeting his sexual needs. He said he regretted ever marrying you and he was ready for a divorce. He said we are going to travel out of this country and he was going to abandon you and your children here in Nigeria. He said he was ready for a divorce. You know, we were rounding off our traveling document when he suddenly came and said he was born again. And now that my husband is born again, what has life got to do with that place? Look, whatever my husband said to you 10 years ago does not matter anymore because he's now a child of the kingdom. Look at that. I am now born again. And like I told you two days ago when you came to my office, I am a new creature. Get that to your brain. Eh? Look, the man 
that made those nasty promises to you 10 years ago is dead and will never rise again. But my wife here is the best thing ever to have happened to me. Dad! The battle line is drawn! I am sorry. I, I just don't know how it just came to my mind. I actually intended to let you know what happened, but I I, I just forgot. You you forgot that she came to your office? Two days ago? I mean, two days ago. Hmm. Hmm. For how long will you be trivializing important things? I see they do not matter. You better don't take this matter like you did this time around. Otherwise, you will do worse things. Deborah. Deborah. This is the initial battle. Fighting over this is not the most important thing now. What is most important is to root root any good with him. So that would be ours to work with each other. You will be able to fight this battle together. Do not forget that this was the same thing he did three weeks ago when somebody sent a hundred thousand dollars to his account and he forgot to tell you. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see the Lord. Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? He that has clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessings from the Lord and righteousness, from the God of the salvation. I don't know how I keep forgetting important things like this these days. I am sorry, alright? I never meant to hurt you. You know, I'm doing my best to just be the best man that you can ever think of. It's okay, yes, sir. It's okay. Thank you. Pray. Pray that God will help you to keep remembering important things like this. Amen. So that the devil will not take advantage of us. Amen. We are in this battle together. And I pray that God will fight for us. Thank you so much, sweet love. Thank you for understanding my, my precarious situation. And I just bless God for giving you the heart of Christ. Thank you so much indeed. Thank you. Thank you, sweet love. Thank you. strategy you used for the Matthew for this couple Did, didn't you know they are addicted to the voice of the Holy Spirit huh? sir you were the one who told us to capitalize on his weakness but not profit even him. if I have told you to capitalize on his weakness uh, don't you have other strategies to use huh? now listen
listen to me and listen good. I give you two days, just two days to work on this assignment. Uh, uh, we, there is no time. We have other godly homes to rent a dog on. Ah! Uh. Sir, Pat Okosha is already thinking on a strategy. And I think it will work. Two days! It can be less, but never more! consultation with each other or would you like to take it alone because I am now in my ovulation period meaning that you have to make love to me now as in right now or else Peter Marcus tell your wife to start talking or else I'm going to kill her I am ready to kill her in fact in simple language and clear terms I am saying is it that you make love with me or I kill her immediately? I'll shoot her if she says no! Matt, 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 calm down. You don't have to go to this place just because you want to make it in life. You can become a multi billionaire if God wills. Provided you surrender your life to Jesus. Jesus Christ, my fruit. Is it that you do what I say or I kill her after the count of ten? What? You can shoot me if you like. It doesn't matter if I die, if that is God's will for me. But that my husband will sleep with you here will never happen. If I die now, we make it to heaven. I'm concerned about you. I'm concerned about where you will end up. Why do you want to go to hell? Why? Why? When you can give your life to Christ? You are playing on it. Calm down, calm down. I am not a kidnapper. I'm a Christian like you. So calm down, okay? I actually arrived last week from the UK. And I had to stay with my twin brother for some time. Sincerely, I never knew he was a kidnapper. Not until two days ago, when I went into his room, and I saw two guns. And that same day, my brother was not around. When this woman came in and told me she wanted me to kidnap you, I sincerely got interested seeing the picture. That was Mrs. Malkat, my primary school teacher, 25 years ago. Well, actually, ma'am, you may not actually recognize me again because I've actually changed. I am Jomiloju Gabriel. Your best student 25 years ago, right at the end of school. Talk to me. 
were engraved and engraved in my heart. And 25 years till now, it has not parted from me. God. Well, I'm also informed the police. They will soon be here. Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. I am Thank you so much. It's Jesus. Jesus. I'm you, Jesus. I'm so disappointed that a mere mortal like you would want to fight and blaspheme God. It's so unfortunate that you never realized you have your breath in your nurseries. But thank God. Thank God. Congratulations, man. Thank you so much. Other than to waste our time over them, we do not have time, but rather we wait for an opportune time.